Hello, welcome back to the channel. This time I'm taking one of these, I'm taking one of these and two of these and I'm going to convert this to a solid state 128 gig hard drive. Stay tuned. Hi there, so I've purchased this 30 gig iPod Classic 5th generation. It's got a few scratches on it and as you'll see there's a bit of a mark on the display. Um, but well, it's actually gone now, but hey. Um, but basically what I want to do is convert this to a, a nice 128 gig that I can put in my car. So I'm not bothered about the screen to be honest. And to do that I've got a little circuit board which we'll talk about later. And a couple of 64 gig memory cards. First thing I'm going to do though is plug it into iTunes and I'm just going to do a full restore on the actual iPod itself just so I can clear it all down so I've got a good starting position so this should hopefully come up on the screen here we go so we have the iPod so look at the sync settings and restore the iPod and restore so hopefully you should go ahead and do the full restore on the iPod Okay, iPod satisfactory settings. We've got the little Apple symbol there, which is rebooting. So we'll wait till that reappears. So it should reappear uh, down here in the sidebar. Um, down here. So it's still there, uh, going back up at the moment. So I'm hoping that iTunes should recognise it. And there we go. So we have an iPod on here. And nothing set up on it. So I'm going to leave it like that. I don't need to go any further. So um, let's disconnect it. So I can check the iPod there. So do it cleanly. And there we go. So that iPod is now in its uh, normal startup mode to select language, etc. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up and we'll continue with the next part of the project. Okay, so as I say, I've got this um, iPad uh, Classic 5th Gen, um, 30 gig, so there's not a lot of storage on them, but it's going to be ideal to use in my car because I can just plug it into my entertainment system and just leave it continuously plugged in there and put all my music on there, which I've got about 80, 90 gigs worth of music. So I need something bigger than this. So. Um, I bought the 228 gig, sorry, 64 gig SanDisk uh, SD cards, which will give me 128 in total. Once I plug them in to this unit here. So this is a, an iFlash quad. Uh, I'll put a link down uh, below for this so you can see where you can get these from. But this does allow me, I won't undo it now, but this does allow me to put four SD cards if I want. So I can actually put this up to 256 gig with two more of those 64 gig cards. It should almost be a straight replacement of the actual hard drive, uh, but we need to get this open and uh, need to get the hard drive out and then have a look at this and see what we can do. So I've never done anything like this before. Uh, this should be quite interesting. So I've never uh, split one of these down. And I've looked at YouTube, found a few videos on it. So hopefully it should all go well. Uh, I'm just gonna need some of these tools, which are the prizing tools, separate cases. And I've got a spudger as well, just to remove, because uh, I know there's a cable, the battery cable uh, is down the bottom here. So I don't need this just to flick that up and, and release that, to get that out. So let's uh, give it a go and let's see if we can get this open.
case uh, remarkably came open quite easily. Uh, I noticed all the crack in the glass there, but that was already there, so I didn't do that. Um, so, as I mentioned, just under here is the actual power cable. So I'll zoom into that and we'll have a look at how you're going to get that off. So you can see there. So all you need, I'm using the pointed part of the spudger, is I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to flick that up till it clicks. There we go, that's now clicked. So now I just need some small... So now we should be able to lift this over and zoom out. Okay, and there we have it. So we have it open. So there's a little battery getting these things. Well, I'm not bothered because it's going to be constantly plugged into power anyway. And this is the hard drive that we're talking about. So this hard drive comes over and then we've got the standard clip in here which just needs the edge lifting up so it'll be let me just zoom in again for you focus there we go so it'll be this edge here that needs lifting up so again be careful because if you break this then it's a nightmare there we go, so that's now lifted up. So that should just allow the ribbon cable to pull out. There we are. So that's it, so that's the hard drive off. So that should be, uh, as we know, a 30 gig hard drive. Can't see on that. That's in good condition, we know that works, so that's something that will keep us spare or you know, could even sell that. So, let's have a look at what we're going to do and what we're going to fit into this. So the next part is the actual board itself. So, that's this, this board here, so let's open it up and have a look. some rubber there that's going to be used to just hold it in place these boards are machined very very nicely so that it should just fit just underneath there's a little piece of metal sticking out there it should fit nicely underneath there we'll see that as we get to that okay so let's insert the SD cards now with these as you can see there is a SD 1 2 3 and 4 so you always start from SD1, 2, 3, 4 when you're populating them. So let's open the SD cards. There's one. sure they are pushed fully in which they are okay. okay so now we just need to connect it back on to the actual ribbon cable so it's going to be like so yeah. opening the ribbon cable first of course Okay, 
that's nice, that's cunning. It's kind of since we've gone a little bit further that side than this side. Close the lock down. Make sure it's flat. Do this. Okay. So then, so it's got these two little parts here, which should go into the two little areas down there, and then it should lock into there. So it sits behind this bit here as well. So that is perfectly built. I mean this is a lovely, lovely board. Okay, so what we'll do is now we need the foam pad. So if you've only got a thin back like I have, you want to use one of these pads that presses against the back and then it keeps this board firm. If you've got a much deeper iPod then you need to use two of the pads. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave it loose but I'm going to connect the battery and then we'll power it up and uh, see what we've got. So, so that's in this corner here if you remember. So this is the battery part here. So you take this and insert it back. So I'll just turn it over without clipping the back back on. And let's power it up. connect to the computer so use iTunes so what that's saying is it's come up uh, but obviously there's no operating system on there um, I'm sure that mark disappeared I might just have a look at the connection see if I can fix that yep so let me connect that to the computer and hopefully that will reprogram it again so just get my laptop back up here <coughs> See the 128 before I uh, put it all back together again. So that's that. said it's detecting iPod and recover it so let's um, restore it restore please <clears throat> okay let's restore 
go to factory settings. came up on the Mac it only said 64 gigs so I'm not sure whether one of the SD cards is faulty but let's get this back 64 and then we can um, have a look at that okay let's see what it comes up with so iTunes should recognize it waiting for here we go iTunes has seen it yay 128 gigs says iTunes so that's good so let's um, pull this out of here now in fact let's eject it properly I don't want to damage anything okay yep disconnectable so um, let's go to uh, what was in English English settings bow hey look at that so here we go 118 gig this is only reads in tens i think i was I read somewhere so it'll only ever say 120 so it's 118 gig available so it's actually a 128 because uh, obviously i've got the two cards so hey that's brilliant so i've now got my uh, lovely um 128 gig ipod um fantastic and, and that using the card and the SD cards, I think came to about uh, 50 pounds. It was just less than 50 pounds to do all that. So I'm well happy with that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a little clean, uh, just get rid of some of these these bits of muck here. And uh, that's gonna be ready to rock and roll and uh, sync up and put it in my car. Excellent, well happy. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, then give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next fun to fix video. See you later.